It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Great game in store for you. All that and more coming up next. Now from the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, this is EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. with you. Buckle up, partner. I think this is going to be an aerial show. Both of these teams giving us the hint that the ball's going to be in the air a lot in this one. Oh, no question. I think both teams were very clear in our weekly meetings that that was going to be the plan. And what we see right now in today's modern football, Mike, is the direct correlation between explosive plays. In this case, two teams that rely on those explosives coming in the passing game and the direct ability to score points. At the end of the day, this is who can score the most points. And if you want to score points today, it's going to become by throwing the ball deep downfield as often as you can. Here's Jake Moody to get this one kicked off. And off we go from Santa Clara. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. They're going to be let out by their veteran signal caller out of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. Whenever he comes in the game, you know exactly what you're going to get. He may not be one of the ultra-talented superstars or anything like that at the quarterback position, but he's a reliable presence in the huddle. He brings a lot of stability to this role, and he is capable of doing his job well and more than giving your team a fighting chance. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. They'll run, and this is Ramondre Stevenson. And that'll go for a gain of about four. Jair Brown on the tackle. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. Going for it all. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And if they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. They had the right play called. The screen goes for 15. And a first down. It's a really important conversion right there, Mike, because you just don't want to go three and out on the road, especially on your opening possession of the game. You want to let your offense get some rhythm, establish and unfold some of the game plan you've set up coming in. They're going to have a fresh set of downs here and now say, okay, can we turn this good start of a drive and finish the drive with some points? Now the man side from Washington, it's Antonio Gibson. Who managed to get two, maybe three on that carry. Up from the secondary, D'Amador Lenore with the stop. They face second down and seven. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Open man, that's the tight end, Hunter Henry. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Osborne, the man on the move. Nice game on first down, but the penalty flags come in. And the question now... Will the play stand? They'll give this to Stevenson, running right. Finding space inside the 40. And they'll take this down inside the 35. 
This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. To throw, it's Percet on first and ten. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And there will be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. And now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? He may have trusted his arm strength a little bit too much on that throw. Two defenders in the area. Work to your check down. Work to an open receiver. I think in this case, he forces that ball, and ultimately, he's lucky he got away. There's Osborne with the grab. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively, and now... Decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. Opening drive, we'll see the response as the kicks away. Debo Samuel gonna get a chance to return it. And he's brought down right at the 35 yard line. Here come the 49ers, and they are led by Brock Purdy. You know the story taken last in the 2022 draft, the last two seasons. He has led the Niners deep in the playoffs, and it's his third season, Greg, as the QB. For San Francisco. Mr. Irrelevant. Well, I think it's safe to say, Mike, he has been anything but irrelevant since arriving in the NFL, and he is living proof. It doesn't matter if you're drafted first overall, or in his case, with the very last pick. What does matter is what you do with the opportunity once it's given to you. Nothing real flashy about his game. He simply gets the job done, and that's exactly what his team is counting on him today over these next 60 minutes. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Second and a yard. From the gun, it's Purdy. That's into the hands of Jordan Mason. And it'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game. Just one more thing for the defense to have to defend. Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing that. A good spot here, second and a yard. Again in the air for Purdy. He'll locate his tight end, George Kittle. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. 
And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike Early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up the key third down? Needing a yard, they throw with Purdy. He's got his tight end Kittle. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Now, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player. And I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. To throw on first down is Purdy. He finds Bell. That's Buck. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. On the ground is Mason. And the Niners are going to be set up with a first and goal. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. In the back of the end zone, he's got it. the precision on that play very little time very confined space and they come through with the touchdown and it's the accuracy of the throw mike that protects his receiver everything down here near the goal line is so condensed you understand you're going to be thrown into tight windows but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field and in this case pays off for a touchdown So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Jones now on the return. Whoa, whoa. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to see the football for the second time. A trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Operating from the gun is Brissett. He's got his big tight end, Henry. Bring him down on the other side of midfield. Oh, 
set to go now on first and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. The open man is Osborne. And they'll take this down inside the 35. First down, for set. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. So they made it a priority here early to try to get him the ball in the first quarter. But that was their third attempt. None of them have resulted in a catch. But you got to start looking elsewhere. You don't want to get into a position, Mike, where you feel like you're forcing the guy the ball and forcing your offense to run through him. On the ground, Gibson. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. They come to the line, needing 11 here on third down. Operating from the gun is Brissett. And that is incomplete. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Pats are back within one. It's seven to six. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away on the return it's Ronnie Bell he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the 49ers offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten They'll send a tight end in motion. They'll run. This is Mason. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Throwing on second down is Purdy. Laying out, and he made the catch. What a play. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. And that's what you call being fearless going over the middle. That's not everybody's cup of tea in this league, Mike. Some guys love to operate outside the numbers, and some guys understand their role is in the middle of the field. And not only to make that catch, but to do it laying out. That's a big-time play to secure that one. Here's second and two. So after one... The Niners have the early advantage. And we're back in the Bay Area after this. On second down, Purdy. 
He'll drop this one down to the fullback. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Seems like the fullback is kind of the last of a dying breed, but we see them used occasionally in the run game. But, man, when you have a guy that you can target in the passing game, it just adds one more layer for a defense to have to worry about. Again in the air for Purdy. Short one there. Caught by Kittle. Here's a second and six. They'll go play action with Purdy. Well, downfield and hauled in by Samuel. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, but here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. They'll throw again with Purdy. He's got it about the eight. And the Niners are going to be looking at a first and goal. He's out of bounds at the three-yard line. It's a first down and a gain of 60. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Back to the air is Purdy. To the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Goes without saying, like you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. They understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. Worst case scenario is you turn the ball over and you come away with nothing. Again in the air for Purdy. And he's in. The is Moody to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the 49ers will take a 14-6 lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Pates offense headed back to take over once more. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Start the drop. On first down, they'll start out with Stevenson. And he'll move this forward out to the 29 yard line. Devondre Campbell brings him down. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They'll 
will go again here with Stevenson. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose the yard. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Third down and nine. Looking out of the gun, here's Brissett. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Down here is Bryce Barriger to punt as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. Ooh. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Niners offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and 10. Now it's the rookie out of Louisville. It's Isaac Garendo. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. He finds Bell. That's caught. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Third and six. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. He finds his big receiver, that's Jennings. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Throwing a comeback route against zone coverage, it can be a little bit tricky. Remember, in zone, the defender's eyes are on the quarterback. So if your receiver doesn't sell that right and this ball's not thrown on time, you're going to end up watching that defender take this thing back the other way. Throwing on first down is Purdy. That's complete to Mason. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. You want to play running back in today's modern NFL, Mike, you have to be able to be a viable weapon in the passing game. It's all about touches. It's not just about handoffs anymore. It's how many different ways can we get the ball in your hands. A run. And here's Mason. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. On second down, Purdy. Samuel has it working in the middle. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. He's got it at the three. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. From 
From the gun, it's Purdy. It is brought in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Moody now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the 49ers extend it to a 21-6 advantage. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. To return, it's Antonio Gibson. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bates offense headed back to take over once more. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. to just throw it away. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. Brock Purdy and the NFC champs back out to begin this next drop. He's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now Purdy. That's complete to Mason. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. They'll run. This is Mason. Maybe a couple there. It's third down.
Shotgun snap to Purdy. He's got his tight end, Kittle. A gain of 16 on that pass play. It's good for a Niners first down. Two minutes from each here in this first half. Greg and I back with you from Santa Clara in a moment. First and ten for Purdy. He finds Bell. That's caught. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. A short one there. Caught by Kittle. They're going to work this down inside the 45. Back to the air is Purdy. A ball deep for the end zone. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. Motion man is Bell. Back to the air again is Perth. He gets it to Samuel, left side. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The Niners will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. really struggled bringing this big tight end to the ground and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and ten back to the air again is Purdy. he gets it to Samuel left side second time they've hooked up on this drive this one good for 12 and a first down. So Kittle comes in motion. Timeout 49 That is their second. They'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. Here's second and two. gun here's Purdy oh and this one's gonna wind up incomplete that's one you'd think he'd be able to corral he can't find the handle and it's gonna lead to a third down a rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire 
throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Right to the sideline, well done. Good job with the feet. Stays in bounds. It looks like, and yes, they do have the first down. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain. And I believe the referee was buzzed by the replay officials indicating, let's get a closer look at this. They trigger this automatically in the last two minutes of the half. So the official upstairs and the replay center in New York get the second look. And indeed, this call will be overturned. They can still pick up a first down here. And they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. Here's Purdy. That's hauled in at the two. And he's in. The one Kenny. Touchdown, San Francisco. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. On is Moody to add the extra point. And the 49ers add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They'll start out first down and 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And we'll mark them down just shy of the 40. Now the Patriots going to use their first timeout as they stop it with 13 seconds to play in this opening half. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun is... The In trouble, and down he goes! Now, timeout signal four, and we'll get it with 10 seconds until the break. second and long from the shotgun it's per set that's into the hands of Taekwon Fortin well that helps it's going to be a much more manageable third down getting some good yardage on that second down play Reset. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big 
third down pickup for a first down. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He was nothing short of amazing, throwing four touchdown passes to help push his guys out to a sizable halftime lead. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. So here's Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense heading back onto the field. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Out of the gun, it's Purdy. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the intended receiver there. And it'll bring up second down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. These are the kind of plays that give running backs bad names. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this. You're wide open. The ball's on target. He just flat out dropped it. On third down, it's Purdy. Short pass taken in by the tight end. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. Now, fair catch. He'll take it at about the 24-yard line. From Andre Stevenson and the Patriots getting set for their next drive. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Play fake to Stevenson. Now Brissett. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he is not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good as it gets. On second down, it's Brissett. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it will fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike, and they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum, figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle, and they just cannot get anything going for you. He'll find his tight end. That's Henry. They will bring him down on the other side of midfield. These wide outside the number throws. This is where a quarterback really gets to show off his arm strength and arm talent. This puts a ton of pressure on the defense because now they say, all right, we have to defend every single blade of grass. So 
set to go now on first and ten. Now Gibson. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's second and nine. Here is Brissett. There's Osborne with the grab. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike, and they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum, figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle, and they just cannot get anything going for the end. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Patriots put three off the lead, but they still face a sizable deficit. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here is Bell on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the 49ers offense getting those helmets back on ready to head out for their next possession and as we look back at some of the highlights of this one Greg definitely a lot to show from the passing game yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of learning to do because you just get burned time and time again. You'd think at some point you'd make an adjustment and make a correction. So at this point, they've given up four touchdown passes. You're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL giving up that production in one phase of the game. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun. It's pretty. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to hook up with Debo Samuel that time. And it'll be second down. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players. And I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts. It allows them to be in the right spot at the right time. And Allows him to make the play. And he's going to be about a yard short of the first. Getting it up to the 36. They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start.
to throw on first down is Purdy. Samuel has it working in the middle. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. That's on the 11-time Pro Bowler, Trent Williams. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. Now a shot downfield for Samuel. That ball flutters to the ground. It's incomplete. Well, fortunate there wasn't a defender right there in the area. Could have been a turnover. Instead, it brings up second down. The relationship between the pass rush and the pass coverage is critical. The better you rush the passer, the more pressure you can take off your coverage, and that's a great example why. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. A corner who is not only a good tackler, Mike, but a willing tackler can be a huge asset to any defense. So often they get a bad rap, they're considered just pass defenders. They want to run around. But for a guy to be able to come up and force the run and keep this to no gain, man, that makes a big difference on any defense. Pass brought in by Samuel. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. the 49ers out for the punt as he's on to punt for the second straight drop and not much doing there they made sure he would not get free the Patriots offense ready to see what they can do they're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten Being out of the gun, here's Brissett. Balled in by the tight end, Henry. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Play fake to Stevenson. Now Brissett. He's got Douglas going deep. So the defense comes out in a cover two shell. What that means, Mike, is the two safeties are going to split the field in half. One guy has one half, and the other guy has the other. There are abilities to get down the middle of the field, especially if you have speed. But really where you can attack it is they don't have enough guys to defend all of the underneath zones. And if you run the right concepts with the right quarterback, you can pick them apart. Pick up there of 19 yards. First down, New England. We've seen third down really turn into a pass-happy down throughout the league, and I think this is an example of the play caller kind of using that to his advantage. Keep the defense off guard, keeps the ball on the ground, extend this possession. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Being out of the gun, here's Brissett. He's got his big tight end, Henry. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. No toss, right side to Stevenson. And I don't think he got there with that one. Only needed a yard, wrapped up at the line of scrimmage, and now we're looking at a third down. Mike, these are the spots that if I was a play caller, I think I'm calling up something down the field. You know the defense is really packed in tight, anticipating a run. Now's the time, play action, and throw it over their head. They take a little bit more of a conservative approach, still get stopped for no gain. Brings up third and short. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. 
gain of seven and a first down. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. I'll give up the middle to Stevenson. And just a short pick up there to the 35. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Quick throw here is complete. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. They've converted two third downs already on this drive. And here's third and four. Operating from the gun is Brissett. That'll be complete to Gibson. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. What great work after the catch to extend the drive. Watch the eyes of this quarterback, Mike. He understands as he goes from his first to his second read, there's no reason to force something downfield. Check the ball down, get it in the hands of your running back, and pick up a positive play. We're set now on first down. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Operating from the gun is Brissett. There's that man again. Another catch. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack. That might take them out of field goal range. The quarterback just has to get this ball out of his hands. I understand giving your guy a chance to pick up the first down. Let's see if he can get some space downfield past the sticks and put one on him. But once it's clear that's not going to work, this ball either needs to be thrown away check down but you certainly don't want to continue to go backwards Patriots ready for the punt and that's going to work out well out of bounds and they mark it inside the five yard line so here's Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense heading back onto the field and he's had it going in the first half really had his way with the secondary they have been powerless to stop them now they're trying to keep it going so they come to the line for first down and 10 on the ground is Mason he'll dodge one would be tackle and wind up getting a nice gain of six on the play They'll work now on second and four. They'll run. This is Mason. And a good tackle out wide. Will hold him to a gain of just three. Now a third and two.
In each two, here's Purdy. And that is incomplete. These are the kind of plays that give running backs bad names. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this. You're wide open. The ball's on target. He just flat out dropped it. The 49ers out for the punt. As he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. Fair catch will be taken here. It is right at the 40-yard line. First and ten, here's Brissett. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. To throw, it's Burchett on first and ten. The open man is Osborne. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. He'll get about six before he's taken down. There's a third down and four. They'll run here with Gibson. comes on they'll try the field goal here it'll be a 44 yard attempt another one through the uprights he's four for four on the game and the Patriots are back within two scores kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here is bell on the return and that's well done by the kicking team he's only able to make it past the 15 yard line the 49ers offense ready to get back at it They're gonna be looking to possibly push this to a three score advantage work to do on this drop first and ten So Kittle comes in motion. A run. And here's Mason. Room up the sideline at the 45. 19 yards. What a way to kick off this drive. 
This is a clear example of a running back who really trusts his speed. He understands if he just holds his line towards the sideline, he's going to outrun most of the defenders on the field. That's exactly what he does. Picks up the first down before being forced out of bounds. Throwing on first down is Purdy. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. They'll send a tight end in motion. A play fake. Now it's Purdy. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On third down, it's Purdy. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass look to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. The 49ers out for the punt. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback. And we'll come out to the 20 yard line. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Quick throw here is complete. And a mark him down up beyond the 30. Desperation time now setting here in the fourth quarter. This is where the urgency of your two-minute offense is so critical. How many plays can you run and how fast can you run them because one score is not going to do it. You're going to have to score and get the ball back and end up going down and punching it in again. He'll run. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Mike, the old adage, you run to set up the pass. This modern offense nowadays, we're starting to see that flipped upside down on its head. Typically, the success of the passing game is what allows teams to have success like this in the run game. A couple of first downs has them out to the 45-yard line as his first and 10. Open man, Demario Douglas. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll come up here on second down and five. Operating from the gun is Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. And the Patriots ready to kick it away. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. And no 
return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. Here's the San Francisco offense ready to take possession of the ball once more. Going to be looking to possibly push this to a three score advantage. Work to do on this drop. First and ten. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. Ayuk makes the catch right side. And he's going to be marked out up around the 33. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. He'll run. This is Mason. He's got room to the 45. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Total team effort. Anytime you have a run at this size, man. Blockers up front give you the seam to hit. But it was the vision to see the hole and the speed to chew up those yards. His teammates at the second level hitting blocks gave him just enough time to push this one downfield. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? A throw there on second down going to be incomplete. These are the kind of plays that give running backs bad names. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this. You're wide open. The ball's on target. He just flat out dropped it. This defense in desperate need of a stop. And here comes third down. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? Gonna put it up again. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. George Kittle was the intended target that time, and it'll bring up second down. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. That's Ayuk with it on the left side. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal. Very nearly a touchdown. He's going to be marked out of bounds just shy of the pylon. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much. That one, taken in. Landed IU. Touchdown, San Francisco. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown.
And Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ballgame. On is Moody to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the 49ers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Jones now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So, now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. Things not looking good. But, see if we get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Operating from the gun is Brissett. The open man is Osborne. They get 11 and quickly pick up the first down. Here is Brissett. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. And the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of them. And it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw is Brissett. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. It's Brissett. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. A little miscommunication there, and that brings up third down. It just doesn't appear that the quarterback and the wide receiver were on the same page on that last pass. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And he's going to have the Pats first down. They find a way to convert on fourth and ten. Some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries. Even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often. The days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. That one taken in by Douglas.
Here comes third and six. To the air again is Brissett. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Defensively, that's just a missed opportunity, Mike. Anytime you have two defenders in the area and neither one of them is able to make a play on the ball, yes, I know that the ball felt incomplete, but, man, you got to get your hands on that ball and take advantage. He'll try to get there on the ground. And this is not going to be enough. He is short of the marker. And they have turned it over on down. The 49ers offense ready to take over possession of the football. This one appears to be safe in hand. It has been a clinical performance to this point. Now they'll try to finish up strong. Here's first and ten. On the ground is Mason. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration it just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole it's exactly how it played out here they've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back a run and here's mason and a good one here on the ground across midfield let's give him nine for the carry Now a third and two. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? This is Mason. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They face second down and seven. On the ground is Mason. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. Some good footwork there. He'll take this forward for a gain of eight. Here's second and two. A tight end in motion now. Play clock down to zero. That's going to be a delay. care whether they hand it to him throw it to him he just wants to be the guy with the ball in his hand 
when his team needs a big play, and he came through there with a big first. Set to go now on first and 10. So a win here for the 49 They take care of business here at home. It's a game they were expected to win. They have no problems in the end as they cruise to victory.